Okay. It is 5.30. I will call the Public Works Committee to order. Do roll call. Um, Alderperson Decker? Here. Alderperson Spalio? Here. Alderperson Phillips? Looks like Rose is not here, and then Alderperson Sorensen is present. Maybe Rose will hop on a little late. Okay, um, for those that are present um, at the meeting today, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, let's... Get rocking and rolling right into our agenda here. Um, we'll approve the minutes from our June 9th meeting. Is there such motion to approve? Motion to approve. Second. There's been a motion by Marcus, second by Dean. Any discussion on the minutes from our previous meeting? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. The minutes are approved. All right, items for discussion and possible action. 3.1, resolution number 3620-21, document number 4.3, resolution authorizing appropriate city officials to sign amendment number two for the joint sewage treatment agreement between the town of Sheboygan, sanitary district number two and the city of Sheboygan. Um, Steve, Make a motion to... Well, I was gonna uh, say, does Steve wanna talk or David, you wanna? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, Steve, uh, Steve's on the line. Okay. And so we're going to let Steve Jasser from the wastewater okay. uh, Steve, talk. Take it Thank away. you. Okay. All right. So um, we have some residents that the city annexed that were tied into sewers that the town of Sheboygan had originally installed. And these residents were given a fixed invoice for their uh, sewer charges, which um, was kind of based on data from 1974, so they had higher charges than our average customers do, and we, we've had some complaints on that. So what we're doing now is we're going to charge them like a regular city resident, which means that they'll be charged a fixed charge like everybody is, but then their water usage will determine their usage charge instead of just a fixed usage charge. Um, like they, so they'll be equitably charged for their sewer usage. Um, there are three residents yet that will not get this, that will still see a fixed charge. Uh, one of the, two of the services are this other dealer out there that has the name escapes me, and there's one other resident. The reason for that is they're on water through the town of Sheboygan and on the town sewer. All the customers that are getting switched over are on city water, our city of Sheboygan water. So uh, we'd like to make this change so that these customers are treated equitably, you know, like the rest of the city. Cool. Thanks, Steve. Any questions? Seeing none, is there a motion to approve? Motion to approve. Motion by second. Motion by Dean, second by Marcus. Any other discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. That is approved. Thank you. Uh, 3.2, resolution number 37-20-21, document 4.4, resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to enter into agreement with the uh, Huckle Pumping or Plumbing and Heating Incorporated for the replacement of six heaters in the vehicle garage at Shoreline Metro. Uh, Derek, is this you? Yes, sir. All right. Um, thank you. This is a, a capital project to um, further replace six heaters um, that are in our garage. Uh, that need replacement. Uh, we did a uh, smaller quantity of heaters in the past, um, but these are the last six units um, that need funding or that need approval for replacement. Uh, the amount is uh, $19,320, yeah, sure. yeah. and the recommendation is to uh, award to the lowest uh, responsive bid 
uh, which was submitted by, uh, excuse me if it's uh, Hockey Plumbing and Heating Incorporated of Plymouth. Any questions from committee members? Is there a motion to approve? Motion to approve. Dean moves to approve. Is there a second? Second. Second by Marcus. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. That is approved. Um, okay, 3.3, resolution number 38-20-21. Document 4.5, resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to enter into an agreement uh, with Cassock Roofing Incorporated for the complete replacement of the roof at the Shoreline Metro Transportation Facility. Derek? Thank you again. Uh, this project is uh, to do a roof uh, deck replacement on our main facility uh, that houses our administrative offices and our vehicles. Uh, we were awarded a grant uh, through the uh, Federal Transit Administration that would pay for uh, just about 50%, a little less than 50% of the total cost of this project. Um, as you can see on the IFC form, uh, Kashik Roofing was the lowest uh, bid, and the recommendation then is to uh, award this project uh, to them. Um, we do have a budget of $750,000 total on this with uh, the city uh, funding $399,000 and the remaining uh, roughly $350,000 coming through that federal grant. Um, there may be a balance uh, allotted on this project and if so, uh, we may be able to take advantage of additional uh, repairs uh, that our roof also requires. But, uh, the initial project is to uh, do the main uh, large area of our roof uh, of our facility with a new roof. Cool. I have a question on this. Uh, Marcus. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, I wanted to know if there were any plans to put solar panels on this roof. Was it considered? Was it uh, looked at as an option? Uh, Marcus, no, it was not, uh, it was not factored into this project. Um, perhaps maybe just a 30 second overview, but our facility, uh, is approaching, uh, 50 years of, of life. Um, and so the thought on this is that, uh, this roof will not last us, uh, the next five years. Um, and we do not see funding for our facility in the next five years. So we do need to move forward with, uh, replacing the roof at this time. Uh, however, the long-term approach of our building would be to uh, ultimately build a new facility uh, that is more adequate with today's standards, uh, both for energy and for uh, maintenance purposes. So uh, the longer, to answer your question, the longer-term approach would incorporate uh, alternative, uh, I guess, alternative uh, fueling such as solar for the building, and then as well as CNG and uh, uh, alternative fuels such as electricity for the buses themselves. Thank you very much. Is there a motion to approve? Sorry. Motion to approve. Move to approve. Dean, moves, Dean moves to approve. Marcus seconds. Any further discussion on this item? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair vote side, that item is approved. Thanks, Derek. All right, moving along. 4.1, General Ordinance number 5-2021, um, document number 6.1, Ordinance Repealing and Recreating Section 26-907 and Article 8, Division 4 of Chapter 26 of the Municipal Code entitled Sewer and Water Services. Director Beevil, what do you uh, got? Yeah, I believe Joe Trueblood is uh, participating okay. uh, v virtually, and uh, he will lead this discussion. Thank you. All right, you. Joe, how's it going? Yes, good, Alderman Sorensen. <clears throat> Thank you. The requested change um, follows approval by the Wisconsin Public Service Commission last week of the water utilities uh, lead service line replacement uh, financial program. So this program now, as authorized by the state, will allow us to spend uh, water revenues to replace lead 
laterals that are not owned by the utility. So this is a big change, a big step forward. Um, one of the things the state wanted us to do was to switch from using municipal assessments, which we had done in the past for water lateral replacements. Uh, and instead they want the water utility to operate uh, a, a loan program. And this would be for uh, lead service line replacements and customers would qualify for a grant of up to 50% of the cost, um, not to exceed $2,500. And then the remainder of the cost would be funded by a no interest uh, six year loan to the property owner. So instead of using municipal assessments as has been done, we would now simply be uh, issuing loans directly by the water utility from the water utility and then those customers would be paying uh, those back over six years. Um, so those are the primary elements of the change to that uh, otherwise pretty lengthy ordinance. Um, it does also discuss the number of qualifying uh, entities. You know, we're not aware of any daycares or schools that still have lead laterals, but if one of those were to be discovered, they would immediately qualify and there are other uh, property owners uh, listed as well that would qualify. So I'd be happy to field any, any questions on the changes or the program from the committee. Okay. Are there any questions for Joe? I do have a question. Shoot. Uh, so coming from the real estate background uh, with these uh, six year loans, are those going to be showing up on the current properties um, uh, like a letter when they ask for, are there any outstanding uh, charges and such uh, for when property transfers before the six years is up? Uh, yes, as uh, Assistant City Attorney Cameron and uh, Chuck Adams had worked with us on the process and, and we settled on a notice of lien process, which would be filed and then would become callable upon property transfer. Perfect, thank you. Any other questions? Alderman Sorensen? Yes, Thomas? Um, so there was one tweak that was necessary as a result of the PSC approval last week. Okay. Um, the, the original version of the ordinance that was sent in uh, was based on the guidance we'd gotten at that point. Um, they did ask for, um, Joe, is it two or three minor changes? Um, Are there two? Relating to um, some clarifications uh, to remove words saying uh, whose determination is final um, and the word priority. So there, there's a, a couple of minor tweaks that we would recommend to ensure that we're in compliance with the with the PSC approval. Okay, so are you requesting just us making these amendments right now then? That would be the uh, the preference. And okay. then that can be incorporated into the version that goes to council uh, in a few weeks for approval. Okay, um, so do you want us to make the, the amendments or should we just make the motion to approve with the staff recommendations and then send us the amended document? How would you rather do that, Thomas? Um, I think to to actually make the um, the changes, and I can I can read those out, and someone can say so moved at the end, if that would be helpful. Okay, that so this is helpful. what we'll do. So we'll make a motion to approve it first, and then we'll make a motion to amend it, and then we'll vote through the amendment. So we'll we'll follow the good old move to approve. All right, there's been a motion to approve. Is there a second? Second. All right, Mo Marcus has motioned to approve. Dean has seconded it. Now Thomas, um, you had some recommended amendments. That needs to be made on this document. So the, the recommended motion to approve would be to amend the general ordinance so as to remove the words whose determination is final from section section 26 dash 1006 subsection K and the word priority <laughs> from subsection from section 26 dash 1006 Slow subsection down. N. <laughs> both of which are changes to section six 
of the general ordinance. Is there a such motion to amend? Motion to amend. All right, there's been a, a second. so moved amendment and a second. Any discussion on the amendment? All right, seeing none on the amendment, all those in favor of approving the amendment, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. That amendment is approved. So now we're back on the main motion that's been amended. Are there any discussion on the amended main motion? Seeing none, all those in favor of approving the motion as amended, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. That is approved. All right. Thank you. All right. Next meeting, July 14th. Seeing that we've exhausted the uh, agenda, is there such motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Motion by Dean. Second. Second by Marcus. All those in favor of adjourning, please state aye. 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 Anyone, aye. anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. We are adjourned at 546. Thank you, everybody. Have a great night.